Hello friends and welcome to a new journal with me. So this video is going to be me setting up my November reading journal and bullet journal spreads. I knew I wanted to do a sort of autumn leaves, very fall theme for the month of November. I chose some very autumnal, is that even a word? Autumnal? Don't know. I chose some very fall colors and I'm really happy with like the color palette that I chose for this month. I also was inspired for this month and just mainly this cover page by this Pinterest post. I will have the link to that post down below. Want to give credit where credit is due, so definitely go and check out that post. Um, I get a lot of inspiration from Pinterest, so I tend to link Pinterest posts in my journaling videos all the time. But essentially what I ended up doing was drawing a few different types of leaves in certain colors kind of in a circle around the center of the page. And then I wrote November in the center of that circle and that is what the title page ended up looking like. So now we are moving on to my calendar spread. So again, setting up the boxes like I do pretty much every other month. I wanted to do something different this month, but I figured it wouldn't look right with some of the colors and some of the things I was planning on doodling around the edges. So I just kept the basic black lines. It's a classic, it works well. Um, and then I also go in at the top and write November and do more of those leaves. And then on these sides, I also have my trackers as well. So some of the trackers on the side are my YouTube subscriber count. I also keep track of my bookstagram followers and then also my journaling Instagram followers. I just find it interesting to see throughout the month as well as looking back on some past months. I just like to see that growth. And then I also have a tracker for YouTube videos. So any videos that are kind of in the process of being edited, I just like to keep track of where they are in that process so that I know what I need to do by the time the video goes up. But yeah, I'm just drawing circles and the different colors I chose to write out the numbers. And then I also add some washi tape on the bottom because I had some washi tape that kind of fit the perfect color scheme for these spreads. So I had to use them at some point. Um, and yeah, that is what the calendar page ended up looking like.
So now we are on to my books read and pages read per day spreads. So on the left side, I will have my books read page. So I just like to keep track of all the books I read throughout the month. I have this spread every month. I feel like I'm so repetitive. I need to find new things to say in these voiceovers, but I'm just drawing more of those leaves. I also add some more washi tape on the bottom of this spread as well, just to add a bit of something. And then on the left side, I will have my pages read per day spread. So I just like to keep track of the amount of pages I read every day. I find it very interesting. It also helps to motivate me to actually read more often than I maybe would have if I didn't have that tracker. So on the column that goes down, I just have the days of the month. And then from the column that goes from left to right, I just keep track of the pages. Um, and it goes up to 300, which I don't typically read more than 300 pages in a day. So I find that that works fine for me. So yeah, that is my pages read per day spread as well. Also, at the end of the month, like to total the amount of pages that I read, I just find it interesting when it's months that I'm reading a lot. It's always fun to see that. Um, and then I also added a little leaf sticker. I had a couple of leaf stickers that I add throughout the spreads, but not too many. But now I'm moving on to my habit tracker and my mood tracker spread. So I kind of did this setup in my October spreads. So I have my habit tracker on the top. So any habits I want to track, I keep on the top. And then I also have a mood tracker on the bottom. So my habits that I track, I track reading um, when I listen to audiobooks, my skincare routine when I do it every night. I also keep track of when I wash my hair, um, when I drink enough water, and also what's the final one? Why can I never remember my trackers? Oh, the final one is for Instagram. So anytime I post to my journal or my bookstagram, I find it interesting to kind of keep track of that, see how active I'm being. And then for my mood tracker on the bottom, I tried this for the first time last month in October. And oh, there's me flipping back to see my other habits. I constantly forget them and I don't know why because I track them every month. You'd think by now I would know. But anyway, mood tracker. I tried this for the first time in October. And to be honest, I didn't have the easiest time keeping up with it but I also know that I had a hard time keeping up with journaling every day in October anyway. I typically will journal every night just to quickly like fill in my habit tracker and do the mood tracker now, but also like the pages I read that day, anything like that I do typically do every night, but for some reason in October, I had a hard time keeping up with it. So I wanted to give it another shot in November just to kind of give it a fair chance. So I decided to draw like the little sticks for the leaves. And then I also have a color like palette that I use and I have certain colors meaning different things and different moods so when I feel that mood for that day I will just color in the actual leaves I will add the leaves so that is what I decided to do we'll see how well it works for me in November it'll be interesting to see if I actually like it if I keep up with it if it's something that I want to continue to use but now I'm just adding some more leaves across the whole spread and yeah that is the habit tracker and the mood tracker page done just kidding, I lied. I actually do go back to the mood tracker and uh, put numbers next to each leaf so I know which day is which mood and which like one I need to color in for which day. So I do go back and add numbers for each day of the month. So now on the right side is my monthly favorites page. This is another one that I do pretty much every month. I just like to keep track of all of the things that I loved in that month. So I have different sections for my monthly favorites. So the first section is for any music that I loved that month. And then the next section is entertainment. So any TV shows, movies, uh, books, podcasts, anything like that that could classify as entertainment, I put in that box. 
I also have a lifestyle section, which is just anything else, and then a memory section, so anything that happened that month that I might think I want to look back on and remember. Um, I also drew the leaves first so that I could draw the boxes for the different sections kind of around the leaves, and I really like the way that that kind of ended up looking like. Also, when I start doing my next spreads, I do actually flip back to this page and add the kind of small uh, maroon leaves that I've been adding and also like the little twigs with the um, little teal dot as well. I didn't add any initially and then I went back and added them when I start doing my next spread. So you will see me flip back to this page and add those as well. moving on to my weekly spreads so I just have these two pages to kind of have boxes for each week of the month and I keep track of anything that I need to do anything I want to remember to do anything like that kind of just a to-do list area again drawing the leaves first so then I can do kind of the boxes around the leaves and I really like the way that that looked So I just added the little titles so I know which week is what box and then I'm also going in and adding some washi tape just to add a little bit more to this spread. And now the next spread is actually a readathon spread so I will give you all the information for that. So basically I'm hosting a readathon called the Taylor Swift Playlistathon and I do have a video kind of announcing the whole thing and giving all of the rules but I wanted to do a spread for my TBR for the readathon. So this spread is actually a bit incomplete because when I was filming this journal video, I didn't have my TBR figured out, so I could only do so much of this spread, but I am planning on filming the first week of this readathon, so definitely subscribe, stay tuned for that, and I will show my completed spread in that vlog. But for this readathon, basically you're creating a Taylor Swift playlist and the songs that you choose will be the songs that match up with the prompts that you do. So on the left side, I wanted to create a Spotify playlist like on a phone and kind of have the songs that are on my TBR and on my playlist. And then on the right side, I actually have the books that I'm planning on reading for the readathon. So I cut out a black piece of paper to kind of be the screen of the phone because on Spotify it has a black background and I only had glittery black paper, but you know what? It works. It adds a little bit of pizzazz, <laughs> but what I did is I kind of blocked out a section for the picture for the playlist because you can kind of have a picture on playlists on Spotify. So I haven't printed that picture out yet, but made a space for it. And then I titled the playlist Taylor Swift Playlist-a-thon. And then on Spotify, when you create a playlist, it says created by whoever has created the playlist. So I just put the host of the readathon, so me, Darian, and Casey. And then once I have the playlist, I will actually make this playlist on Spotify. So I'm planning on doing 13 songs or 13 books. And then I will have like the time written out, so how long the playlist actually is. Um, and then also on Spotify, there's these little hearts next to the songs, so you can like favorite songs. And so I figured when I complete the book or the song or whatever I can fill in that little heart um, and then also on the bottom I did like the play button and everything and I just wanted it to look like Spotify as close as possible I thought that that would be a unique idea 
And then the right side of this spread, I just decided to have a section for my TBR or the books that I plan to read for this readathon so I can keep track of everything that I want to read for this readathon. And then I also did CDs kind of as bullet points. I think I might fill in the CDs with my like silver gray marker. I'm not sure what I'm going to do yet, but I wanted to do bullet points as CDs, kind of make this as music themed as possible. And right now I'm just drawing headphones that are coming out of the phone. Um, I'm really happy with this spread. I feel like it looks really cool. Um, I'm excited to see what it ends up looking like once I've completed it and once I have my TBR figured out and everything. But that is going to complete my November journal with me. If you do a bullet journal setup every month, let me know down below in the comments what your theme for November is. I will also have the information for the Taylor Swift playlist-a-thon linked below and in the cards. I definitely want you guys to check it out and participate if it sounds interesting to you. But other than that, that is going to complete this video. So thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next one.